today's the day I am uh, finally getting to the shocks on the 07 Durango, Dodge Durango. The shocks that we had on them I had bought back in uh, 2016, 2017, something like that. And they're the Monroes. They do not last probably two years. I don't know how long shocks are supposed to last, but I think they're supposed to last longer than two years. But I will say the where we live, the roads um, really put the shocks to test. Test their limits, I guess you, you, you could say. And I went ahead and wanted to experiment with the Ranchos. And you can buy them for this vehicle. So we'll see. I know it's not a four-wheel drive, but I wanted something that can be able to handle these uh, these roads out here. And because uh, it just killed killed these other shocks, which I don't think Monroe shocks are like the way they used to be. They just don't last very long. And I'm not the only one that's had that problem. But anyway, get back to the situation here. On the top, the bolt itself is a 15 millimeter. The nut is an 18. Yeah. Yeah, an 18. The bottom bolt, because that's all it is, it's got a little place that screws in over here on the back side. Which you can see right here, it just screws in the back side of that so it doesn't have a nut. Um, is an 18. And let me tell you, it has been the easiest thing to uh, change out. I've never changed a pair of shocks, a set of shocks that has been this easy. I went ahead and jacked up the, the front end, put, of course, put jack stands under the frame, and I keep the jack underneath it. Take off the wheel because. As you can see, the shock is right there. You don't have to get down on it at all. Alright, stay tuned. I'm fixing to put the mount this shock because I had already taken the old one off before I, I realized I was doing it without video in it. So hold on. Okay, uh, what we need to do, what you'll need to do if you decide to change the shocks on the front of yours, put the other wheel on the front don't take them both off take the big red I mean the stands out from under the frame and what you'll need to do is put the floor jack under this cross member right there as you can see it and then put a small jack because you will need to compress the a-frame put it right underneath the a-frame hopefully you can see that to, in order for the bolts to line up all right, bear with me. This is where you need to put the little jack stand to keep compression on the, the A-frame to make it where the bolts line up on the, the most especially this bottom bolt right there of the shock. I just wanted to show that, get that on video. And while we have the tire off I want to look and see yeah in these brake pads yeah all right that will be another video hold on bear with me okay we had to drop the spare to be able to get to the driver's side rear shock and we found out something I don't know if this had any factor of why the front shocks um, disintegrated so quick is whenever I went and uh, bought these shocks, the gray ones that are on there, they sold me the kind that are the spring loaded, they're not the push pull. And if that's the case and you have some of those spring loaded ones that are heavy duty ones, it'll apply It'll, it'll put too much pressure on the front ones and kill the front shocks and I think that might have been it Because the ones that uh, Rancho sold me and you can even look up um, 07 Dodge Durango uh, Rear shocks 
and the push-pull ones come up so they sold me the right ones and uh, which I'll, I'll go over the numbers of which ones are on the front and which ones are on the back in a minute but you, as you can see I've already got the passenger side one off but we had to drop the the spare to get to this one so just bear with me I'm fixing to install um, the passenger side which there again it's the same wrenches to um, take the, the the rear ones off as what they were on the front the 15 and the 18 uh, deep well socket is probably what you're gonna need all right just stay tuned all right and they're on both of them was a whole lot easier than what I thought way easier than I ever dreamed shocks could be um, I will tell you the overall time if we knew what to expect from start to finish with all four shocks would have taken no longer than um, 45 minutes no longer than 45 minutes for all of it and I will tell you now hopefully this video will help you drop the spare it makes access to both shocks back here perfect the handle to crank the spare down is located under the passenger back seat attached to the jack for future reference and the little compartment that usually comes across here you raise it up and there's like a little hidden thing right here a little flap you raise it up raise a little material up and then it's a little seal right here you peel it out and it leads straight to the little crank thing that your little jack assembly puts over like that hey daddy come here I'm going to show you what it does you use the jack handle attach it to the rod that goes over the the stem and I'm gonna let my dad stand back here and go like this show the the tire coming up and show him what I'm doing because okay. I want to show him how how okay, that what it do comes I... up. nothing it's already recorded okay got you all you do is just hold put put one hand right here and then crank up and your spare will be going up is it going up yeah okay and you'll know when it's enough Because then it stops going, it stops cranking. It's almost up there now. And that's it. And come back over here. And you put this little plug back in. And then you push this little flap back down and it's sealed. And then snap that back in, and that is all taken care of. Now you'll go back over here, and all of these little components will fit back. On there's like little clips. And then there's little clips that it hooks on right in here. I know I probably don't have it in there, right? But self-explanatory, and then you just push the seat back. It locks back in. Looks like it's never been touched. But anyway, I am uh, fixing to clean up, let the thing down, and then we're going to go for a test ride just to see how the, the thing feels. I know it's got to feel better. It was galloping so crazy like with these other shocks it felt like a, a ship on a wavy sea that's what it felt like although I couldn't tell you for sure if that's how it feels like because I've never been on a ship on a wavy sea all right anyway hold on okay we're gonna go give it a run down the road just to see how much of a difference 
the Rancho I can already feel the difference just coming out our driveway Yeah, it does set higher. Let's turn the air on just a little bit. Cause I'm dying here. All right. Does feel somewhat better. It's gonna be right there, wild. right there. I felt it. That was a whole lot better right there. All right, stupid people going to the ball game. They think they own the place around here. Yeah, Daddy, I, I can I can feel this. I can feel the difference. Does need bushings for the steering, the uh, sway bar, and the end links, which that may be expensive. But this is a huge difference. Sometimes you have to buy the sway bar. No, not the sway bar. The end links. The end links, but the old sway bar used to. You had to buy the whole. Yeah, this is huge. You hear the going like that? Yeah. Did I tighten the lugs up on the front? I am so absent-minded. We're we're going down this road. Yeah, you can tell hugely. There may be. You don't want to stop on this road. There's too many bad dogs. Oh, really? Yep. All right. Yes, huge difference. My phone's fixing to die, so I'll make this real quick. Overall, huge improvement when you come to a stop it didn't just continue to bounce and sit there and bounce it actually does what it's supposed to um huge thumbs up to rancho 5000s or 9000s whatever they're called until next time that's it please subscribe and give it a thumbs up if you don't mind um if you like it if it helps you in any way uh just stay tuned because there's more to come and i was going to tell you real quick perfect thing of tools. I got this from my wife to ride in her car. It's a Craftsman's 154 piece. And I'll tell you, it has come in handy. It's it's a way better selection than um, the other ones I have for my truck. It doesn't have near the, mine doesn't have near the, the tools what hers has that comes in handy with these vehicles. But it's perfect for a lady that likes tools and likes to be safe. And I, I feel better when it's with her um, when she's out on the road because she's not afraid to get them out and use them. But anyway, that's it. I uh, hope you all liked the video. And until next time, that's it. Bye.